Hello, so forgive the <laughs> background panting because Riley is really tired. I played some fetch with her in the back because it's like 85 degrees out right now and I, uh, I figured fetch in some shade in the back would be more enjoyable for her than just walking in extreme heat. Plus, I wouldn't be able to walk her very long so this was a good way to tire her out. But right now I have my lunch here cooling off and I have some time before I need to go back to work and I um, I kind of wanted to talk about something that I know that I don't really talk about much or I haven't yet and that is relationships. I guess first off let me just provide some information <laughs> So people know where I stand. Um, I have been single for two years now, coming on three. The main reason I wanted to talk about relationships is because I do think there have been times once in a while where, yeah, I'm like, you know, I kind of miss being close with somebody. I kind of miss the physical aspect, not just sex, but I do miss the physical aspect of like, cuddling or just like physical contact, hugs, cuddle, and I guess just having somebody to do stuff with would be nice. Or no, I have started to come to accept the fact that my lifestyle makes it nearly impossible for me to meet anybody. And I really do think that's like pretty much impossible because, man, I really hope she's not so loud. <laughs> I hope she's not too loud, but so basically my life is pretty much like this. I go to work, I walk Riley, and then I do random things in between. Like maybe I'll go out to get some food, maybe I'll go out to get some bubble tea, maybe I'll go to the spontaneous trips like the movies, or I will go to see these museums and stuff. But the thing about that is that anytime I go out in public, and I mentioned this in my introvert video, I am very, focused on my goals. So if I'm like in the grocery store shopping, which I'm not anymore because I freaking <laughs> deliver my groceries now, but if I'm ever out, I don't pay attention to people. I don't make eye contact with people either. I do think a large reason I do that is because it stems from what I've experienced with Riley. So yeah, when I'm out with Riley, I purposefully make sure I don't look at anybody I don't even glance in their direction. So if I'm walking and I see in my peripheral vision, there's somebody like on the side, I basically keep walking straight. I don't even acknowledge that they exist. So the reason I do that is because, yeah, I've had a lot of unpleasant encounters with people in regards to her and I don't want to look at them because I don't want them to get any indication that I want them to approach me. But the thing is, if I'm out in public and I don't have her with me, I kind of still give off that vibe, I think. I don't really know why, but the thing is, I also don't know if I get much... I don't know if I feel much purpose in looking around or like making eye contact with people. Maybe I've been living by myself and been so independent for long enough that I focus on my own desires and then that translates to the way I act when, when I'm in public. So that lifestyle and that behavior when I'm out in the world makes it so impossible for me to meet people. And the thing is, I'm not complaining about it. I'm, I'm kind of just saying it as a realization that I understand that it's going to be nearly impossible for me to meet anybody in a romantic sense. But at the same time though, I don't really let that bother me. I mean, I don't need anybody. That's the thing. Um, a lot of my focus and my goals lately have been very selfish. And I like to think of selfish as not a bad word because I have been selfish for so many years now, right? I put my priorities first. If somebody proves to me that they are worth keeping around long-term, then I am definitely willing to make sacrifices. But I see a lot of instances, maybe in like the movies or TV shows that I watch where, you know, you have 
someone that has to give up their career to move with their girlfriend or boyfriend to make things work and to keep it away from long distance. And I've always thought of that situation in, in a way that I don't think I would be willing to give that up because I always think that career is something that pretty much lasts. The benefit you get out of a better career it's just more long term because a relationship is very unknown. You don't know if something's going to happen that can make it end. And then if that relationship ends, then the sacrifice you made, bleh, then the sacrifice you made for your career feels like it was kind of a waste. Um, I've never actually been put in that situation, so I don't know for sure if that's what I would do. It really depends on the person. Um, I definitely think I fall for people pretty fast. I just think that if I meet someone and I connect very well with them, then I love just spending a lot of time with them. So, you know, as an introvert, the only activities I really would prefer to do on my own are playing video games. And if they play, then I would love to play with them. But I've had, I've had a little bit of problems in the past where playing video games with someone might kind of unleash the beast in me because I'm competitive. And if my boyfriend isn't as good. It might be less enjoyable to play with them, but that will be something I will address if it ever happens again in the future. Yeah, it's just so weird to think about because I know that there are other ways to overcome this lifestyle that I have and that is online dating, but I don't like online dating at all because when I look at profiles or I browse through all these profiles, it feels like I am flipping through a bunch of applications and then deciding who I want to date. And I don't like that. That feels unnatural. The thing that I've always liked the most about romance is that it's by chance or something. It's random, right? So you just randomly meet somebody and then you hit it off and then you get to know them that way. It's not like, I feel like online dating is a process just doesn't feel right to me. So I have tried, I have tried online dating in the past for a very brief period of time, like a couple months, but I, uh, I do tend to have anxiety when it comes to meeting people from online. I had a ton of anxiety in terms of that whenever I met anybody off World of Warcraft. Um, I have met a couple people off WoW and I mean, all of the meetings turned out fine. It's just that that moment, the first few seconds where you meet somebody that you've been talking to online, I hate those first few seconds because one, it's like, how do you act? Oh, I know how I'm gonna act. I know I'm gonna act like myself, but I just feel like they are a complete stranger for a couple seconds until you start to warm up to each other. And that first time or that first glance of seeing each other, feels weird because it's like, I know you, but I don't know you. So I hate that anxiety. That anxiety would be the same as if I met somebody off a dating site. I don't think that online dating is a good way to really get to know somebody. And that's another thing. If I met somebody online through online dating, I would want to text them a bunch first because I wanna make sure that our personalities get along well enough that if we're together in person, it's not going to be a bad experience because I feel like I would be the type of person that if I went to a date and it was going poorly, I would not stay for the entire date. I would save both parties times. Like if I'm not enjoying my time with you, let's just cut it short. Let's just separate and you know, not waste any more time together. Yeah. I also just feel like I am really turned off from seeing the type of messages that people send you through those sites. For me personally, I don't like it when people just throw random compliments at you because they don't feel genuine. We don't know each other very well. We have hardly talked. So if you tell me that I'm beautiful, that's gonna mean nothing to me. So I'd rather you not say that. Or some people just continue to really throw compliments at you. Like, oh, your husky is so cute, just like you. It's like, oh, come on, please don't say that to me. And I, I hate reading that stuff. And I don't wanna have to tell these people like, Please don't say meaningless compliments to me. They feel meaningless to me. They might not be to them, but I do think by now I have a really, really intense personality, or I think I do. 
I think I might view myself as more intense than I actually am, but when it comes to standards, my standards are high, so that does tend to weed out a lot of people. That can be unfortunate at times, but I think one of the biggest ones is communication. So the thing is, if somebody takes more than a day to respond back to me through text, I think I would have an issue with that because I just know every, everybody has their phone with them almost all the time. And that means that they saw your message, but they are taking extra long to respond back and it doesn't take a lot of time to write a response. So I just don't like the idea of this whole delay. Um, I don't know if these people are playing a part of the dating game. I'm not playing this dating game. I'm never going to wait to respond back to somebody because I look too eager. It's like if I'm available to respond, I will respond. And that's the type of person I am. So I feel like if anybody sucks at communication in that sense, then I can't bother with them because I know that that trait is going to bother me long term. And you might as well not even let yourself get emotionally connected, right? So I think I have just become hard to connect with maybe. Like I can easily talk to people, but when it comes to long term, I think I'll have problems uh, maintaining that connection. I do also think it would be extremely, extremely hard to find someone that, well, Finding someone that respects my training with Riley is also essential and I feel like the dog world of training this way is very unknown to a lot of people so that would be hard maybe to find someone that is respectful of what I ask of them. Overall, <laughs> I've just been thinking about this from time to time because I, um, I feel like I've been away from the romantic scene for a while and I feel like as more time passes I'm going to gradually become so comfortable with living with myself that maybe living with someone else or connecting and relating and spending time with someone else might be something I'm not used to anymore. That's okay. I, uh, I'm pretty content with where my life is at in terms of I'm, I'm proud that I found the new job that I did so I do think I am progressing along at a pretty decent pace in terms of life and just all aspects of my life, I guess. My home situation is always calm and peaceful because I live by myself. I got a raise for my next job, so that means that I can indulge in other activities that will make me happy. And generally, I live a stress-free life because I make all my decisions. And if I want to go do something, I do it and I am usually happy with my decision so I don't have to be I'm not emotionally affected negatively by other people because of plants garbage truck is passing by <laughs> yeah it's just that you know sometimes when you watch romantic movies you're like you know I kind of miss I miss that but it's okay I don't it's not something I want to rush Definitely not something I want to rush because I think if you focus so hard on it I don't think that romance is something you can just get because you want it, right? It just happens out of nowhere and it's not something you can control so Focusing on it and thinking about it all the time and wanting it is kind of pointless to me I tend to think more about my own personality and how I've changed over the years and understanding that having a relationship might be harder for me now. Who's to say? Like, what if you meet someone that is really ideal for you in many parts, in many ways? So I don't really know if I have much more I want to add. Um, I would love to hear feedback, maybe. <laughs> I don't know if this is something I can receive feedback on exactly, but maybe if other people relate or something, um, that would be interesting to hear. But I do think that a lot of people, or I do think that many people tend to desire relationships often. And I actually have had always a decent amount of downtime between my relationships in the past. I have only had, I've only had four relationships 
and my first boyfriend was when I was 18. So I have never actually dated. Everyone that I ended up going out with as a boyfriend were people that I had talked to beforehand, before we realized that we developed feelings for each other. So I'm not a big fan of meeting a random stranger and then figuring out if we get along. I like the whole friend aspect first where you kind of just talk about everything and anything and then you realize like, yeah, hey, I kind of like this person. They're pretty cool and our conversations are entertaining. They understand my sense of humor. They know my sarcasm. They understand that when I make jokes that are kind of the type that gamers make in terms of like harsh language, they're not going to take offense. Um, I definitely can't take sensitive people. I cannot deal with any sensitivity, I think. So that's a big one. Okay, I need to eat my lunch. <laughs> Hopefully you guys kind of like understand where I'm coming from and maybe hearing those thoughts I've been having, um, you guys can understand me better. All right, I need to gobble down this lunch before I head back to work, so. Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful Tuesday and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.